like the key, I like the key, I like the key, I like the key, introduce myself. I like the key, introduce myself. Yeah, I mean, he really showed in uh, his last fight that he can move for 12 rounds, and he does punch very well. I think he has a lot of power, and because he does hurt people when he when he hits them, and uh, he does have some, some sensational knockouts out there. It is, is it a fight? It's a fight we're talking about. It's not my favorite fight in the world, but um, it is something that we know we might have to fight next. You know, he, he tried really hard to, to, to win the fight. Crawford was just very mobile. He moved very well. I mean, he was like a young Mayweather. I mean, he moved both ways really well. I mean, when we started cutting the ring off on one side, he'd just go the other way. Postal just um, couldn't handle the speed, I believe. You know, he's a kid was just very mobile, very fast, and a very, very good athlete. A much better athlete than I thought, and a better counterpuncher than I thought also. This guy was a good, good fighter. I mean, he, I thought, you know, if he takes him lightly, he might be, he might be in for a little trouble here. But he went out there, dominated him. I, I, I vote him the best, pound for pound best fighter in the world today. Pound for pound best fighter in the world today. He'll go to 47 and try to make a division. And again, I think he, right now, he's one of the best fighters out there. Best pound for pound fighter. Yeah, I think he's number one right now. Best pound for pound fighter. Yeah, I think he's number one right now. Reporters, the people, the fans—they should, they should say, they should vote who is the number one. Who do you think is number one right now? Who do you think is just number one? I think that it's Crawford. Crawford. Crawford.